Well, good afternoon everyone, and what a day it is. It's a beautiful winter's day here. And there's no wind, so it is perfect because the spray truck's coming very soon to spray these couple of new grass paddocks. I'm gonna do this one and just the one over there because I have got a little bit of a problem with weeds. So I had the guys from Wrightsons out the other day, they come in and had a look, and there's quite a lot of this. And this is chickweed, so I'm gonna try and just winter spray it to sort of try and kill a lot of that and all the other little weeds that are sort of popping up as well. So uh, there's something there, a little red plant, I don't know what that is. But it should take care of a lot of the docks in here as well, and whatever's sprouting as well. So there's mallow there, it'd be good to sort of give that a knock, hopefully it sort of kills that. If it's small enough it will. It's not too bad here, like it's not real patchy, but sort of down the other end it's quite bad. And they said that they'd been to a few places, because it is quite warm at the moment, where they were there and it looked, didn't look too bad, sort of like this, and then they went back in a couple of weeks and it was sort of, that chickweed was smothering the new grass so it would sort of kill it, and I don't really want that happening, so I'm just gonna spray it, hopefully get rid of everything, and then come springtime, it's gonna be an awesome paddock of new grass. Today is Thursday and there's bad weather heading in on Sunday, I think, for about another week, so it's pretty crucial to get that spray on now. We want to do it when it's nice and all those weeds are nice and small because then they absorb more and you get a better chance of killing them. I was pretty lucky though, I rung Spray Link last night and said, can you fit me in, because they are pretty busy at the moment, and they said, we're, yeah, they might not be able to before that sort of rain comes, they'll be, they'll be able to do the next available day, but lucky enough, they rung up today and said they can, they can fit me in, so how awesome is that? I'm using this chemical, so this is Head Start, there's a litre of this going on per hectare, and also one called Tropidox, but I think it's got another name from another company and they're supplying it. I didn't have any of that in the shed, I just had that container, so they're going to supply the other one, I'm going to supply that, and we'll whack it on. I think the other one's going on, well the other chemical I'm using is going on at three and a half litres to the hectare. The heifers have got like two more days over there on the new grass, and I also need to spray that because it's also looking pretty weedy, but they had a look at that as well and reckon give it 10 days and use something a little bit different. I said it was Tropidox before, but the other one that I couldn't remember, it's called Thistle Plus, so three litres, I thought it was three and a half, but that's for the new grass, and then the perennial that's already established, that is, we're just gonna whack it with one and a half litres of batten and head start, the same thing with a litre, so there's five hectares over there to do. And I'm just gonna do it myself, but I'm gonna put the sprayer on the fiat probably next week. I just didn't have enough time to really do it now and, and get into that new grass, because it sort of needed to be done sooner rather than later, so just rang up spray link, it was just easier. And it was only three hectares, so it's not a lot. Just having a little read on the back here while I was waiting, and it says, what weeds are controlled at what rate. So at 500 mils I would get that chickweed, but it doesn't really kill much else. Uh, whereas if I go at a litre, I kill um, all these large weeds that are above, and then also get like dandelion, which is quite a lot of that around this year. Um, mayweed, wireweed, sorrel, a little bit of that. Uh, and those paddocks, not too much willow weed, but thistles, nodding thistles, so it should clean up the paddock for springtime. <laughs> Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive
somebody who wanting to build up walls Lift me up in your branches We can watch the sun A little bit rusty on the drone, I haven't used it for a while but it would be cheaper for me to go and spray it myself but it is good using them because I only pay for the chemicals I actually use so then I use 9 litres of that Thistral saves me having to go and buy 10 litres and what I do with the extra litre well I'm not sure, I'm not sure when I'd use it again so I could save it I guess for another day but it is pretty handy and all their stuff is sort of GPS so it's, uh, it's pretty onto it whereas our spray is a little bit hit and miss nothing says it's winter like a gator full of real and standards I've got a busy afternoon, I'm just trying to set up as many breaks as I can while the weather's nice and good because it is supposed to turn so I'd rather do it now while it's sunny than when it's raining so I'm just going to fence that new grass off down there then the heifers are going on to the annual so I'm going to try and set up about three or four days ahead of them probably and then I've got the, the other cows to do uh, which I don't think I'll get done today but I'll probably do that tomorrow but we also had some great news come through today. This is just on my Fonterra app on the phone, so that's actually the CEO, old Miles Hurrell, and it's just saying that they have increased the milk price up 50 cents to 8.75 to 10.25. So they're saying, well, they're pretty much saying that the highest price you might get is 10.25, and the lowest could be 8.75. So that means the midpoint, which is what we refer to, or is what we get paid on, has increased up to nine dollars fifty which is awesome with all the prices going up in farming though say like fertilizer or buying and supplement feed for the cows we do need a good price so anything with a nine in front of it we're pretty happy with and it certainly helps like it is subject to change it can change going into the season they can review it and shift that midpoint or close the range up or ex expand it although it is pretty expanded at the moment i think that's like a dollar fifty and it all really depends on sort of how the milk auctions go because we export like 94% of our milk products here in New Zealand we rely solely on other people or other countries around the world buying them so it depends what they're paying for it and also what our dollar does so it's pretty low at the moment compared to the US dollar which helps us being exporters It's always a good feeling when you're going into a season on the front foot but there's always a certainty that comes with a good payout and that is that we always get a drought so Hopefully we don't get one that was like this year, or as severe as this year, surely not, we can't get two in a row, but I guess time will tell. Fast forward a week and I'm back here now, we're going to have a look and see if these weeds are dying down. But I have had the super flu over the last week and I've been so crook, I've had the aches and the chills and the just no energy whatsoever so it's been pretty bad that's why there were no videos out last week on YouTube unfortunately sorry about that I'm still not feeling the flashes but at least I can sort of move around now I was bed bound for sort of three to four days it was pretty bad but getting back to this grass so you can see that this chickweed there's a lot of it but it is starting to change color I reckon eh? it's more looking sort of real light green like there so maybe it is starting to die down I would hope might take more than a week, I thought it would be looking, oh even see this thistle, it's been knocked a bit I reckon. Starting to curl up so that would have worked. But there's a lot of chickweed so hopefully it is uh, dying down. It definitely looks like it's it's been hit. I was hoping to see it sort of more yellow and dead looking but I definitely think it's that spray starting to work but must just need a little bit more time. I also made a bit of a new purchase and if you do follow me on Instagram you've probably already seen it but I did put a couple of pictures up asking people what brand they use and 90% of the people probably said this or the people that replied so it's pretty cool and that's the one I went with which is true test so I was after an EID reader and this is the one I got it's pretty cool pretty fancy comes in its own little case pull it out it's like a like a wand so it's pretty easy to use and this is the X or S no XRS2 so it's the one with the keypad here there is a cheaper version that doesn't have it but people said um, 
go with this one because you'll regret not having it. So I did, and what this basically means is that, or well, four, it's just for scanning. So you press this middle button, and you hold, or you put this one bit over the end here, over the cow's ear tag, and it will pop up here, and it should tell you which cow it is. I need to put all the cow data from Minder onto here though, it does transfer over pretty well. I have had a go but I haven't been successful so I need to chip away and find out how to do that. And then it's going to be pretty handy. So I was going to tag all the heifers before they carved, I haven't this year. So when they do come into the shed I'll just keep this there and then scan them as they come in and it'll tell me which cow number they are. Which will be pretty handy and then I just find the cow number and tag them. So. It's good like that, and also when I'm sending like uh, a line to the works, so if there's seven cows going to the works, I can just um, scan them, and then I can export that file onto my phone and just say that I've culled them. So that's pretty handy. It's just good, something good to have, I think. Uh, and yeah, they sort of last for five to ten years. So pretty cool. Looking forward to using it. I haven't actually done anything with it yet, but I'm sure it'll get a little bit of use in the future. But that'll do it guys, I've got a heap of fencing I need to do for these girls, nothing set up in front of them, so I'm going to go and do that now. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, remember, give it a thumbs up, that'd be awesome, and apart from that, see you next time.